everyone this is Sin and welcome back to my channel Stampin Munchkins on the screen is the card we're making today it's a retirement card for one of my husband's workers this is what we'll be using Nina cardstock this Altenew stamp set for your retirement greetery balloon bouquet but we won't be using it as a balloon I'll be using Altenew inks. Everything will be listed below as per usual. Two of the reds and two of the teal turquoise colors. I do have them in the sets so again I will be using it and listing everything below. I'm cutting the Nina cardstock down into an A2 size panel and I'm going to be using two layers and not using the balloon layer so it looks like it's a flower corner so I like how we can um, alter what this stamp was meant to be was a balloon but we, I'm altering it so it's not look at your stamps a different way so you can use them so that it pleases what you want to use these um, stamps have never been used so I want to get rid of the manufacturer's coating so I rub it um, with my microfiber cloth I'm inking the first layer with the softer um, teal color I'm gonna rotate it and I'm using my misty as it um, makes it easier for me to line it up and a lot of times I'll make more than one card since I already have it set up and I do um, ink it twice or stamp it twice to get a nice even coating and now I'm going to be using the second layer and it's pretty easy to line up I love how the greenery um, shows it on the little um, booklet that comes with the stamp set and this one is the first layer of the flowers so I'll be also use the lightest color of the red and again I'm getting rid of the coating using my microfiber by just scrubbing it a dry microfiber cloth um, it'll be listed on the screen which color I'm using as well but Easy Shopping links, uh, which are affiliate links, and I appreciate you using them, um, are below for everything that I'm using in this video. So I'm um, just tapping gently as I don't want to get um, the image to be uh, distorted. So I like to um, pat gently and do more than one layer if it's needed instead of giving it the CPR <laughs> so now I'm doing the leaf in the second layer so it'll be um, I'll use the darker one which is the third darkest or this might be the flower version which is still the the darker yep I'm doing the flower so this is the darker of the two layers I always, um, a rule of thumb is to do the more solid um, stamp layer in the lightest color and work your way up to the most detail will be the darkest color. It's a good rule of thumb. Of course, you can do what you want, but that's how I like to do it. And you can see how nicely it layered up. I love this color combination, a uh, corally red and the teal blue really goes nicely together so now I'll be doing the second layer of the leaf which is the detailed and again I'll be using the darker teal color for this layer and again it'll be on the screen the color and polymer stamp um, is very sticky it always sticks to my fingers so I'm using my Tula Pink um, tweezers to help me get it off and as you can see in each um, stamp, I am getting rid of the coating 
by use, rubbing it um, until it's cloudy and that means that it is the coating is gone. You can also use a white eraser but I just use, um, I, I like to use my cloth or you can use your hands, um, your palm to get rid of it as well. So now that's done. That was really quick. I do like to clean and put away my stamps right away. Clean and dry. And now I'm going to go with this congrats. I'm going to be embossing it in gold. Again using the tweezers to get it off my fingers. I'll be, um, this first one I forget to use my powder tool, but I will in the second one. So again, I do it lightly so I don't smush it too hard and distort the image. And I'll be using Brutus Monroe Gilded embossing powder. And I am doing it, um, stamping it twice, inking it twice because my Versamark um, pad at that time was a bit dry. I did um, re-ink it after so that is done and I already heated up using my Wagner dual pow power heat gun and this one says on your retirement so this time I will use my powder tool I remembered it helps with your embossing powder to not stick onto the paper. It really makes a big difference. So again, using Versamark. It's really hard to find retirement stamps. So I really like that Altenew Succulent stamp set because it has um, many um, images and words that you can use. So I really like it. And the succulent images are super cute too. So that one says congrats on your retirement. And then it does I don't show it here, but I do add it to a an ax um Nina 110 pound cardstock, or you can use the accent opaque 120 pound. And I'm adding these jewels from um little little Lucy's little things. It's the perfect color. And I'm using my jewel picker, but it was so sticky that I just um, used my Tula Pink tweezers and I'm going to be using matte medium glue, matte multi-medium glue and just adding it on and that will finish the card. Super simple but I really like how it turned out. I love that little bit of gold. And again, the color combination is just so pleasing. I love it. So there's the finished card. I hope you enjoyed it. And here's a, here's a close-up of the card. If you hear my kid, my daughters in the background, they just came home. So here's another video you might enjoy and a card making playlist that you might like. And as always, click on my face to subscribe. Thanks everyone. Aloha.